I converted my um, essay into a slam poem. Um, okay. Sense, from the Latin senses, which means the faculty of feeling, thinking, and meaning. We are told that we have five senses, but recently I read 45 essays and I began to notice the word sense was linked with other parts of the human experience. Sense of freedom, sense of time, sense of adventure, sense of dark autumn nights, sense of a new day dawning, sense of order, sense of coming thunder, sense of humor. Maybe we can better understand the word sense by looking at its function as a root word. If I were to set up two identi identical movie theaters today, one showing a Nicholas Sparks movie and one Michael Bay, the Sparks would have a giggly romance until they die of cancer, change their mind, or move away. There would be soft music and lots of used tissues at the end. It would be sentimental. The Bay movie would have monsters, robots, aliens, with lots and lots of explosions and beautiful women. There would be loud music and a slight deafness at the end. It would be sensational. If we hooked both audiences up to machines, we would see the physiological responses of overactive senses in both of them. Yet sentimental is seen as negative and sappy, while sensational is seen as vivid and exciting. Maybe sense is a physical sentiment, uh, maybe sense is physical and sentiment is emotional, but if we limit sense to just what we feel physically and sentiment to what we feel emotionally, then what about physical pain? It can't be deemed a sentimentality because it's not something you can see, smell, hear, taste, or touch in actuality. Physical pain and emotional pain both light up the same parts of the brain, so why do we treat emotions with disdain and tell people to put, up, put their chins up and change? We gain some sense through our senses. I know that lion cub fur catches on the ridges of your fingers. I know that New York sounds like sirens and swearing. I know that pizza is the best thing I've ever tasted. But once when I was eight, I licked an ice cube tray. My tongue got stuck and I still have a scar from when I pulled away. And some may say that it was against common sense. It's common, or is common sense something that each person is inherently born with? Do we add to it every time we do something dumb so the next person knows not to do it? Does it vary across cu cultures, ethnicities, genders, and ages? Is, is it a book passed around and you have to memorize every page or else risk showing the world that, the wisdom, that wisdom isn't necessarily contagious? Because I think we should be allowed to make our own mistakes without hearing the sage, well, isn't it common sense? Sensibility is used to describe rationality, but my physical senses preach against it. When I see a rainstorm, I toss on a swimsuit and rain boots and plow through puddles as quickly as I can. I am feeling raindrops against my skin. I am feeling joy as I search for the biggest puddles. I am not thinking about pneumonia or towels or tracking mud through my mother's house. It's strange to me how the simple five-letter word sense has come to mean so many things. Sensitive, sensational, sentimental, sensible, nonsense, common sense, sensorial, sensual, sensuous, sensitized, senseless, sense. <laughs>